Shattered windows, bullet casings all over the ground, and a 14-year-old girl recovering in the hospital. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. A Polk County family was fast asleep inside their home when deputies say three men with guns drove into the neighborhood and shot dozens of rounds at the house. Tonight, the family is sharing their terrifying experience only with 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers. Detectives say they collected 37 shell casings on this property. They say 27 bullets hit this home. Five of them went right through this window. Rosanna Rivera says one of the bullets hit her 14 year old niece and another hit her 13 year old daughter. It was just like silent and then I just heard like loud pops. 13 year old Rosangeli Rivera spoke to us with her mom Rosanna by her side. Outside the home, she says she's scared to go back into. She was resting in bed next to her cousin when bullets came flying into her room. Rosangeli was grazed on the arm. Her cousin was hit on her lower body. I went out my room and like screamed for my mom. Polk County deputies say they believe this was intended to be a targeted shooting, but the suspects shot at the wrong house, leaving two young girls injured and a family shaken. I already um, picked up my stuff and left um, that same night. I didn't stay here. Rosanna says her 14 year old niece is still in the hospital. She's still limping. She's still hurting. Right now, they're all staying with another family member, searching for a new place to move into, a home where Rosanna says they can feel safe again. I wake up every night just thinking that was a nightmare. As of now, no arrests have been made. In Lake Wales, Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. This shooting happened 17 minutes after a separate drive-by shooting in Polk County where a 19-year-old was shot. Investigators say it's not yet clear whether the shootings are related.